Welcome and hello everyone. My name is Gordon Feener and I'm an attorney located in Boston, Massachusetts with a satellite office in Stoneham, Mass. During the course of this informational video, I'd like to focus on a policyholder's release in connection with a homeowner insurance claim. This video is in a series of informational videos concerning the Massachusetts homeowner insurance or policy. Before I begin discussing the subject matter of this informational video, I'd like to briefly summarize my background. I have been in business as an attorney for more than 30 years, providing legal services with a concentration in homeowner and property related claims. Prior to starting this office, I worked for approximately 20 years in the insurance industry as an adjuster, senior adjuster, and senior property claims examiner, supervising the adjustment of property claims by both staff and independent adjusters. With respect to the issue of a policyholder's release, in simple terms, is a release document signed by the insured or policyholder which releases the insurance company from any and all claims. Many times, the release language will be something such as the following. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner releases XYZ Insurance com Company from any and all claims, action, liens, or demands, causes of action whatsoever founded in tort, common law, statute, contract, or otherwise, including common law, and statutory bad faith claims and claims arising under, under the Massachusetts Consumer Protection Law, Chapter 93A. As you can see, releases generally contain complicated legal language. First, the Massachusetts homeowner insurance policies do not require that a policyholder insured give a release to the insurance company in order to obtain benefits for a homeowner claim. The insurance company can, pursuant to the contract of insurance, require the policy holder, homeowner, to sign a sworn statement in proof of loss. A sworn statement in proof of loss is different than a policy holder's release. If you have not reviewed our video on the statement and proof of loss, we would advise you to do so at the conclusion of this video so that you may have a better understanding of the difference between the two documents. Because there is no contractual obligation or requirement for a policyholder's release, there is generally no legal basis in the insurance contract for the insurance carrier to demand a release be signed in order for the homeowner to receive benefit. Among the other rights that a homeowner insured may have is the right to reopen and supplement a claim. Generally, signing a release or a policyholder's release gives up those valuable rights for which the homeowner insured receives nothing in exchange. Since the policy does not require that the policyholder sign a release in order to obtain benefits, the insurance company is providing no consideration or nothing in value in exchange for the release of valuable rights, including the right to supplement claims and gain, and gain other benefits that may be provided by the policy. The legal term is generally used is pre-existing duty rule in order to describe the situation. If you have suffered a loss and need assistance with your homeowner insurance claim, please do not hesitate to contact the Law Office of Gordon Feener. For additional information, you may wish to visit our website at www.attorneyfeener.com or www.homeownerclaims.com. In conclusion, I'd like to thank you for watching this informational video and remind you that this uh, video can be considered to be advertising under the ethical rules. Any selection of an attorney should be a careful and thoughtful decision. Again, thank you for watching this video. I invite you to watch my other videos 
concerning homeowner insurance and homeowner claims, and have a good day.